uh, keeping with uh, Copilot, mm. um, tell us about uh, file yeah. links. This show may be sponsored by Copilot. Um, we're not so. sure. They've got a lot of money. Microsoft Copilot optimized file link support in Microsoft Teams chat and channels. MC eight double o eight five one. So when we are having a conversation with Copilot, our friend, uh, which I chuckle because I was showing a video, a Copilot video from Microsoft, and at the top of it, it goes, Copilot, your new like work friend or something. I'm like, friend. Okay. Um, but basically, when we're talking to Copilot, we expect for it to, I expect, let's, I'll, I'll say, I expect for it to return information that is related to what I'm what I'm asking uh, not just specific things like for instance when I say um, you know when I have a I'm in a chat with someone or in a channel having a conversation and I say copilot tell me what John said about this or what John shared and that's what the um, the screenshot shows here is the example I wanted to say uh, here's all the things that John shared. Um, and this example says files. But if I said, you know, what has John shared about X topic, I, I want to know what John has shared. This this message is talking about uh, Copilot is going to bring those files that were shared in that chat or in that channel conversations uh, and ma make those available as a response to when you say, Things like what files has John shared in this context. This one, uh, though, was one that you know we mentioned the top of show about how we did the pre-production live and let people kind of give some input. You know, this is one that kind of prompted us to think about doing that because we kind of dived into. <laughs> we actually spent quite a bit of time on this one talking about how Copilot does work and how it should work. Mm. Um, when it relates to documents and when it relates to uh, conversations and and returning information that we're looking for. So um, we won't rehash all of that, but um, I think for this message, um, it seems that Microsoft is building into the, the capabilities of Copilot uh, functionality of, of, understanding not just what was said in chat as, as in words, but also some actions and the action here being sharing a file. Right, mm. Daryl? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it seems that, and that that's going to be useful uh, as we see a co-pilot within teams become a bit smarter. Uh, we know that like, there's quite well-developed experiences in the meetings um, side of things, but chat and channels needs to build out a bit more. And yeah, I guess Absolutely. one thing that we did talk about as we were sort of in pre-production was that Copilot accessing chat, accessing semantic index, accessing all the all the different things it knows about the file. Um, it's it's all there. It's just we need to see Copilot mature a bit more to be able to go into a file perhaps and tell us, John attach the sales training presentation, uh, what did he mention about things in that, in that presentation? Yeah. yeah I, I think that's, that's the, um, next step and something that, you know, I think I'll play around with once we get this, we'll talk about when this is rolling out, but you know, for example, in this screenshot, it shows that one of the files that was shared is the sales training presentation. Well, what if I said, um, Locate Copilot, please, since you're my friend, apparently. Copilot, please locate the file that John shared talking about sales training and give me the four points for, you know, that were in that mm. presentation. I want it to do it, right? I don't, I don't want it to go, here's the file. No, 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 no. I said, locate the file, but give me the points. And will it do that in, in this? I hope so. Uh, we just don't mm. know yet, um, but I'm waiting when general availability rolls out worldwide beginning mid July of 2024 and uh, through late July, I will definitely be testing whether it does return that information. Cool. Speaking of information, Daryl, 
Uh, let's talk about delegating some, seeing some information in Viva Insights. Why not? All right. So now that Daniel said the title for me, the message number is, <laughs> sorry, Microsoft Viva Insights delegate access to Microsoft Copilot dashboard MC. 801259. Uh, we talked about this, uh, I guess, a few weeks back, uh, where uh, people leaders can access a dashboard to see how their people, the people they manage, uh, are using Copilot. Not specifically, not, you know, I can see Daniel's usage, but the 10 people that I manage, here's the rolled up kind of aggregate experience uh, across my team. And that's good information for um, a manager who's wanting to make sure we're getting the most out of our investment, maybe even from an adoption perspective, thinking, oh, I see that our team isn't doing so well, maybe I'll contact uh, contact the learning development team and you know get some help. Uh, but there's another aspect of this where maybe that is a just another thing on the manager's list and they've got other things that, They've got to do, they might need some help with this to check out that dashboard. So this allows the manager, the people leader, to delegate access to that insights dashboard and see um, what they see about Copilot. However, it's just that access. It's not that the manager is giving access to their personal insights to someone. So there's a good distinction there. Um, there's yeah, a few things that an admin can do to, to um, set this up and make it possible or not possible. Leaders can revoke that access at any time. Uh, delegates cannot access or cannot delegate access to others. Right? They're given access, but they can't pass it on to someone else. What is that called? Sub-subcontracting? Right. <laughs> you may not pass what I have given you. Got yes, it. exactly. Yep. So uh, I think it's, it's a good thing to assist uh, a manager... Uh, with that, um, and, and perhaps they maybe they need a bit of coaching early on too. Like they have this power and responsibility, but they might oh. need someone on their team to to help them out with it. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is I, I think that is a big part of why they're doing this. Is yep. uh, and the same way you have leaders who you know don't manage their calendar. You know, they delegate <laughs> that stuff. I mean, seriously, right? Like yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. in the same kind of way, this could be another another thing that uh, helping uh, you know do those tasks and, yeah. and delegation is um, a sign of good leadership. And yep. so here we have that functionality. Look, would you rather people that the manager says, "Look, I don't have time for this stuff. Our team's not going to participate. We're not going to have access right. to this thing," or "Yeah, I'm totally behind it. I just don't have time to to." Um, you know, follow up on these things, but I'll get a team me member to, to help me out yeah. with that. I think the second option would be better. Yeah. yeah. So this is generally available, uh, begin rolling out June 2024, expected to be complete early July. So it should be um, soon, soonish 